Good day, everyone. Bellame here, and welcome back to more Dragon Quest 11s. Last time we just met up here with Rab, who is in this very crazy, uh, scary land. I don't know if he like passed away and this is heaven, or I don't know. But I'm very concerned and very worried about him. But he is not worried and concerned because. As you can see, there's a girl up there who is uh, his fancy from a magazine that he likes to read. So without further ado, it is time to game with Belaim. Let's see what is going to happen to our buddy Rab and uh, bunny girl, I guess, because she has bunny ears on, I believe. So let's go. Let's see what's happening with this. Oh, great. We're chasing her down. Weird. Hello. <laughs> Here we go. I'm so nervous. Is this going to be cringe or is this going to be sad? Is this going to be happy? Oh, don't know. Hey. Wait. What just happened? Did he travel in time? Like, what's going on? He looks all kingly now. <laughs> Come on! Uh-oh. Is he revisiting moments in his life? Also, no music is very eerie right now. This can he be? But, <gasps> but it is. It's Dundrasil? It's Dundrasil, just as it once was. Oh my goodness, okay, wow. Uh, this is gonna be hard. <laughs> this is gonna be heartbreaking, isn't it? Looking sharp, your majesty. Uh, who's that? <gasps> what the? <laughs> uh, my, my old robes. But how... What in the world's going on? Would you care to enlighten me, lassie? <laughs> Walk this way. Okay, something's weird about this. Oh! She even has like a special animation. Oh my goodness! My bunny-eared pal headed off in the direction of the throne room. Assuming this is the real Dundrasil castle that is... Sorry for the terrible accent. <laughs> Well, that's as good a place as any to head for, I suppose. I'll see what the folks on the way have to say for themselves. Oh my gosh, we actually get to see Dundrasil. And look at him looking all fancy in his robes. This is so cool. What does he have to say? Forgive me, Your Majesty, but I can I allow you to proceed? There's a private meeting in progress. I wonder if that's from the beginning. Remember the meeting at the beginning when they were talking about the hero? Ah, this is crazy. This looks so fancy. I can't believe all this was destroyed. Ugh, what's the matter, your majesty? You look like you've seen a ghost. Anyway, shouldn't you be holding for, heading for the throne room? You have an important audience, as I understand it. If you're late, the chief minister will have your guts for garters. <clears throat> oh my goodness, and the music's all peaceful. <gasps> There's some kids. Can I talk to them? If I'm good and practice hard, I'll grow up to be as big and strong as Sir Erwin, weren't I, your majesty? Yes. <laughs> I knew it. Can I wait to grow up now? All right, let's see what the little girl says. Are you busy, your majesty? When you've finished whatever it is you're doing, let's play hide and seek again. Aww. So it looks like he was a really good king. Oh, can we save? Good day to you, your majesty. It's another peaceful day in the wonderful kingdom of Dundrasil, and we owe it all to your enlightened rule. Now to business. Yep, all right, let's do a save. Save a roo, save a roo. Let's see if he can jump. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Okay. Uh, all right, hello, sir. Your majesty, please wait. One of the ministers was looking for you. He said you should head to the throne room. I guess all these other areas are blocked off. Feeling peckish, your majesty. Off to the kitchen in one of your wee snack hunts. Well, I'll not tell you your business, you being king and all, but I'll stay up here if I were you. One of the ministers informs me that there's something very important afoot. All right, so that's to the kitchens. What does the map have to show us here? Anything? Not really. I wonder if we'll get to come back here at a later time to explore more. Kind of want to see all the rest. Oh, look at that beautiful courtyard. It kind of reminds me of the uh, the castle, or not the castle, but that magic school for young girls, or the maybe not girls, but remember that academy that was all French sounding? It kind of reminds me of that. So the throne room is through that door over there. If you head inside and turn left, you'll find 
Oh, it's you, your majesty. Well, you don't need me telling you your way about your own palace. You have to forgive me. I'm new here, you see. Oh. I'm, like, biding my time because I'm so worried what we're going to find. Do we have to relive the destruction? Like, oh my goodness. Ooh, this is pretty. Look at the lovely colors and flowers. This looks so really nice. Good day, your majesty. The chief minister is waiting for you in front of the throne. Just head straight in the, on and you'll see him. All right. Well, we're, we're taking our time. Oh, there's his running animation. <laughs> I'm sorry, your majesty. Princess Eleanor would tear strips off me if I let anyone into her private chambers. <gasps> Eleanor, his daughter. You just missed her, actually. I wonder where she was off to. Oh my goodness. That's our daughter and the hero's mom. Oh, heartbreaking. What about over here? Where is this? Oh, there you are, your majesty. The chief minister is waiting for you by your throne room. Perhaps you can retire to your chambers after you've spoken with him. Oh, and didn't I worry. I've been keeping a careful eye on your fine collection of gentlemen's literature. <laughs> the maids won't be throwing it away on my watch. Wow, that has some implications. All right. So that looks like that was his bedroom. So he's finally summoned the courage to do it, has he? Oh, your majesty, I didn't see you there. I hope you're keeping well. I wonder if they were talking about an engagement. I've heard he's finally going to do it. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Oh, your majesty, we were just discussing, um, nothing, nothing at all. <laughs> kind of sounds like a proposal. All hail King Robert. Long live King Robert. Your Majesty, does my imagination or is your crown particularly resplendent today? It sets off your regal whiskers to a T. Everyone's being so nice though, it kind of makes me fearful what's about to happen. Your Majesty, I have to compliment you on your fine uh, choice of cloaks. The one you've picked today radiates authority like nobody's business. Alright, well, here we go. Ah, there you are, Your Majesty. I've been looking for you everywhere. You must remember me telling you that you had an important audience scheduled. It's almost time. Hurry on over to your throne and prepare yourself. Uh, which one is it? Uh, this is the one that's on my side. Like, my bedroom's on this side, so maybe this one? Oh, no, okay. You know business with the Queen's throne just now, Your Majesty. Hurry on over to your own. Quickly, they'll be here any moment. Alright. There we go. Who is it? Who is it? Is it his daughter? I trust you. Oh, he's all back. sweating. It is his daughter. So this must be time traveling or a memory. Oh my goodness. Cuz this looks like maybe before Hero's born. Helena. Erwin. Aww. It, it really is you. And and you're young again. What's going on? Oh no. Uh, your Majesty. Please forgive my insolence in seeking a oh. personal audience with you today. I wonder if this is him asking for marriage or something. Oh my goodness. You, not as the head of the princess's honor guard, but as my own man. He's all sweaty, though. Yeah, it's gotta be this. I mean, um, very well. State your business. Um, well, uh, he knows what's coming. You see, uh, <laughs> um, the, the, the thing is, I, uh, uh, I, well, Aww. <laughs> you can do I it. You got this. Daughter's hand in marriage. <laughs> Aww. Erwin. And though I am but a soldier, and all too aware of my own lowly position, nevertheless, I must persist. <laughs> there is one thing of which I am certain. My sword arm is steadfast, and my heart unwavering. There is no man alive who will love, honor, and protect your daughter as I can. I can see some of the resemblance to a hero as well. <laughs> your Majesty, I place my fate in your hands. Will you allow me to continue to serve and protect your daughter? Not as the head of her honor guard, but as her dutiful and loving husband. 
uh, yeah, because we already know that he's a good guy because of, you know, living through the future. <laughs> I can hardly turn you down after that little performance. Come on, laddie. And to tell you the truth, I always had an inkling that you might one day be wed. Oh, really? <laughs> nice. Oh, father. It's up to you now, Erwin. Don't disappoint me. You hear? Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Aww. It's so cool we get to see how it was back then, but it's also devastating, because now we know their fate. Oh. No! It's already over! Oh, poor Rab, but also, at least he got to remember it. Oh my gosh, now where are we? Are they going to tell him about the baby? Let's see what happens now. Oh, her again. Crevins! Where did you spring from last Cravens. And where's everybody gone? <laughs> did you enjoy your little trip down memory lane? Well, it's not over yet. Why does she sound evil? <sighs> well, alright. Going back this way. And I guess we'll talk to this guy. Actually, we'll talk to this one first. I cannot be the only one with an itchy nose, can I? Ah, oh, your majesty, it's almost time. I bet you cannot wait to meet your new grandchild. It'll be the bonniest baby ever born, I'm sure of it. <gasps> it's his grandson's birthday? Your majesty's everything all right? You're looking a wee bit befuddled if you deny by me saying so. What's that you say? Queen Eleanor and King Erwin last forevermore? Oh, come now. It's the nerves talking, that's all. Speaking of nerve, the father to be seems more than a little jumpy himself. He went flying out the throne room not long ago like a man possessed. Uh oh. Oh, it's because they just found out about the marking on his uh hand. All right, this is my chambers, I think. I, or it could be Eleanor's. I don't remember. Let's see. Okay, this looks like uh oh, this is his. Okay, it's his bed chamber. Oh, there's the bed. Weird placement. That seems like not the best feng shui zone, but okay. Let's see what she has to say. Uh, achoo! Forgive me, your majesty. The maid who brings your dinner dropped a pot of pepper, and now I cannot stop sneezing. I just hope none of it drifts into the queen's room. I'm sure she's having a hard enough time of it already. Achoo! Alright, do we have anything in here that we can collect? Ooh, we do have a book. Yes. I'm so glad we came in here. That's hilarious how he had to jump up there. Looks like an old diary of Rab's. Rab takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. Ever since the day I ceded the throne to young Erwin, the lad has poured his heart and soul into making Dundersil the greatest kingdom it can possibly be. He was never raised as royalty, and I must admit, I shared some of my subjects' doubts about whether or not he was truly suited to rule at first. But now I know I made the right choice. He soon gained their trust and respect, and mine as well. The entire nation is united behind him. My dear Eleanor has made a very fine choice of husband indeed, which means I can get on with enjoying my retirement. Oh, this is so sad. I feel so bad. Poor guy, everything just went so bad. Oh, there we go. Sage's elixir. That sounds pretty fancy. All right, well, let's... um. Head on over to her room, I think. Actually, let's see if we can go down here. Okay, we can. Oh, there you are, Lord Robert. I was hoping I might have a chance to speak with you about something before the child was born. Before the child was born? Well, now, so it's the day of my grandson's birth, is it? Now, there's a thing. Uh, your Majesty? Sorry, lad, you were saying there was something you wanted to discuss? Aye, it's the child's name. I've been having trouble thinking of anything suitable. So much trouble that has been distracting me from everything else, if I'm honest. I was wondering if you might see a way to reprising your role as a king for a wee while so I can have some time to think it over. Uh, okay, sure. Thank you, thank you so much. You'll not have much to do, I promise. There are just two items on the agenda for today. 
The first is something you're more than used to, receiving those who seek a royal audience and giving them counsel. The chief minister will be on hand to help you with the most pressing issues. The second is to make the rounds of the castle and assist anyone who needs your aid. The idea of the king aiding his subjects directly was, of course, something you yourself initiated during your reign. I'll be by the fountain downstairs. It's where I do my best thinking. Once you've taken care of the day's business, please come and find me. I'm truly grateful to you for agreeing to do this. All right, did I just mess up the order of things? I hope not. Where's, uh... Because I, I really... Oh, no! I might have messed up. I should have gone here first. Your Majesty, the Queen needs quiet and rest right now. Plenty of it. I know you want to see her, but please give her some space. Oh, no, I missed it. What if I could have gone in there and talked to her before the baby was born? <gasps> I hope I didn't mess up everything. <clears throat> All right, let's uh, go on. Good day to you, your majesty. If you're looking for King Arwen, he's in the usual spot by the fountain down below. It looks like he's got a lot on his mind. I mean, we can give you a name idea because we kind of already picked one. <gasps> we get to go downstairs. Oh boy. Let's go talk to this guy. Your Majesty, you were always known to be a wise ruler. One who knew a thing or two about a thing or two. Well, I was wondering if I might hold or be bold enough to make a small request of you. If you don't mind, I would very much like to ask you some questions in order to see your formidable intellect at work. So what do you say? Will you indulge me? Sure. Why, thank you, Your Majesty. Now, without further ado, let me see your, you... Let me set you some posers? Okay, that must be like questions. All I require is that you and your infinite wisdom supply me with a simple true or false in response to each one. Ready? Here we go. True or false, you, Lord Robert, are in fact the youngest of three brothers. Oh, I don't actually know all this. Uh, true? Correct, but that was too easy, was it not? Let's give you a sterner challenge for the second question. Here it comes. True or false? The purple orb is one of the royal treasures of Sneffelheim. Uh, was it purple? I think it was a blue. False. Correct, bravo! Now I can tell you want more of a challenge, so let's increase the difficulty a little. True or false, the, the Drazillion Sovereign we use as currency in our kingdom is worth 10 Drazillion shillings. Uh, I don't know that, so I'll just go with true. Correct! I can see that you're uh, champing at the bit in anticipation of more testing questions. Well, let us see how you enjoy this one. True or false, the Sultan of Galapolis has a single son upon whom he dotes excessively. I guess true. <gasps> oh, okay. Oh dear, your majesty, surely you are aware that Sultan has not yet been blessed with a child. Oh. Because we were thinking of the past, or I mean of the future where he does have a son. <gasps> Oops. Seems you are unwilling to give free reign to your immense intellect. I very much hope the next time you take on this challenge, there will be no such restraint. Oh, do we have to do it again? Okay, let's try it again then. All right, let's see if it goes to the same questions. Okay, so it does. So I'll meet you guys back at the current question. <laughs> Alright, correct. But of course it comes to no surprise to you, Your Majesty. You have cruised ever at least to my very final question. True or false? In addition to the four greatest kingdoms that make up Erdria, there was once a fifth. I thought that was now. Um, true? Oh, you did it, Your Majesty. You answered every single question correctly, but then I expected nothing less. Truly, I have witnessed an epic feat of intellectual prowess. I shall never forget what I have observed here today. The sight of a matchless mind spreading its wings and taking flight is something I shall take to the grave. Here, a small token of my appreciation. Seed of magic. This has been both a humbling and inspiring experience, Your Majesty. I intend to hit the books and memorize yet more obscure trivia that I might one day reach your heady heights. <coughs> All right. Don't need to save, because just in case I need to go back because of messing up order of things, I'm not sure. King Erwin and Queen Eleanor always look so happy. Well, that's true love for you. I wish it could happen to me, but I suppose that's hoping for too much. Uh, no, it's not. No, definitely not. Ugh, I cannot wait for the wee one to be born. I'm getting that excited you'd think it was my own flesh and blood. I don't think we can go out here still. Yeah, the private meeting still. Alright, well, let's go downstairs. I guess we'll go here, which I think was the kitchens. 
Oh, we get to see more of the beautiful area. Aye, this is big news, all right. The next in line to the throne of Dundersil is on at the way. Folks from all around the world will be dying to know if it's a wee lad or wee lassie. Forgive me for bothering you with such trifling matter, your majesty, but I have a wee problem I'd much like if to ask your opinion about. The truth is, there's someone in the castle who's caught my eye, but I just can't I muster the courage to tell them how I feel. Anyway, I had an idea, and I know it sounds like I'm out of my tree, but what if they got flowers delivered by none other than yourself? I reckon they'd be over the moon, so what'd you say? Sure. You'll do it, really? Wow, I didn't quite what to say. You're a star. Oh, before I forget, here they are. Okay, we got a pretty, pretty posy. Now, how can I begin to describe my true love? My peach, the apple of my eye and captor of my heart. Well, they're in the castle, they're wearing green, and oh, they've got red hair. Good luck. Okay. Well, it's not her. We're, uh, we're rushed off our feet, getting everything ready for the new arrival. We need to get the castle spick and span for the little one. First impressions and all that. Oh, there's even more. Sorry, your majesty, the floors have just been polished, so I can I let you walk on them. We wouldn't I want you slipping and cracking your head now, would we? If you're looking for King Arwen, he's over by the fountain. Ooh, green and red hair. Oh, hello, your majesty. You must be very excited about the new addition to the family. This woman has red hair and green dress. She could be the object of the lovesick guard's affections. Present her with a pretty posy. Uh, I don't know if this is a... Let's go no for now and we'll come back. We'll just make sure um, that we get the right person. Oh, there's the... There's Erwin. We don't want to talk to him until we're done. <clears throat> Let's see who else is in here. Got some... I guess this is the kitchens. My tummy's rumbling so loudly I cannot hear myself think. How are we supposed to train without a good feed? Or maybe not the kitchens, but like the dining great hall type area. Hmm, like there's no food? It's all my fault. I was one who dropped the pepper pot. It's a calamity. What will we do without the pepper? Ah, your majesty, cometh the hour, cometh the man. We're in the middle of a wee culinary emergency, you see? And we could do with the assistance of someone such as yourself. A gastronom, shall we say. A butterfingered fool of a maid managed to drop the very last pot of pepper from the castle larder, and it smashed and went everywhere. I'm sure you can imagine what the guards will say when they sit down to their ne uh, neeps and tatties and there's no seasoning to be had. There'll be an uproar. Please, your majesty, help us in our hour of need. Excellent. I knew you wouldn't let us down. Now, if you wouldn't mind searching the castle, we need something nice and pungent we can use instead of pepper. I was thinking some of the plants around the castle might yield something useful. It's certainly worth a look anyway. But don't restrict your search to plants alone. You never know where the perfect condiment may be hiding. Well, I trust your judgment, your majesty. Happy hunting. Hmm. Well, I don't think we've seen anything yet. Hopefully they are sparkly. I'm famished. It sounds like there's been some kind of problem in the kitchen, but surely they can serve us something before we all starve to death. You guys will be just fine. Okay, here's some pots. Maybe there's something in here. Special antidote. And nothing. But they're like, uh, King, are you okay? Why are you smashing things? Alright, here we go. You must be very excited about the baby, Your Majesty. I know I am. In fact, I've prepared a beautiful bouquet of flowers to present to Queen Eleanor. I run an exclusive florist, don't you know? This man has red hair and is dressed in green. He might be the person the lovesick guard wants you to deliver the flowers to. Okay, so here's another option. Good day to you, Lord Robert. I expect you're going to be putting on a lavish party to celebrate the birth of your first grandchild. I do hope I'll be on the guest list. I'm sure you will. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but I cannot let you go that way. The maids are busy cleaning, you see. Alright, so it looks like I get to pick... For who to give oh wait here we go oh i hear the fountain too aye this plant's leaves have a pungent prong all right i'm pretty sure you could dry them and use them to cook with it they'll be sure to add a wee bit of spice to the mix hmm i'm sure there are other things you could use instead of pepper but this dunne seem like a bad option to me uh put the leaf forward as your suggested substitute uh no we'll leave it for now see what else there is um, unless that's it. I think we came from that way? 
or actually, it looks like, um, where, is that it? Yeah, we can't go down either way. So we gotta find a substitute for the spice and somebody to present the uh, affections to. Um, let's see if there's anything else we can find. Everything else is kind of blocked off. She doesn't have red hair. What? Wait, what about her? She has red hair. Could be her. King Arwen and Queen Eleanor are always... Oh, wait. This is the one that she said I wish it could happen to me. Ooh, it could be her. That would be helping two people at once. But I'm super curious what would happen if I gave it to one of the others. Alright, let's see if we go down here. If there's anything we can search. In this area. Maybe one of the other plants. Maybe something in our bedroom? Let's go take a look. Because the fact that it gave me a choice and an option makes me wonder. I wonder if she has collected enough pepper. Uh, let's see. Queen's room? Okay. Um, I don't see... Oh, wait! Wait, what do we have here? What's this down at the bottom of the basket here? Crikey, this takes me back. Where are there any finer food than a peach pie decorated with a picture of lovely wee bunny girl? <laughs> well, if there is, I've never seen it. Now I know it's not exactly what you'd describe as peppery, but it would certainly spice things up a bit, and I reckon that lot in the kitchen could do with a wee challenge. So, what is it then? The pie? Mm, no, I guess we'll wait for that as well. All right, so we got those two options so far and that might be it though I don't know if these flowers will have anything what's he gonna say your majesty the king has appri uh, apprised me of the situation if you'd be so kind as to take a seat on the throne when you are ready to begin discharging your royal duties you'll be welcoming visitors from other kingdoms and dealing with various matters of state both trivial and momentous King Erwin will be de deeply grateful for any assistance you can offer, I am sure. And speaking personally, it will be a pleasure to work with you again, Your Majesty. Alright. Well, first, I think we should uh, just make sure we don't see anything. Looks like we still can't go in here. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so I think what we'll do, we're going to try and do the best we can. So... Pie doesn't seem like something peppery. What kind of pie was it again? It seems like a sweet pie. I don't know if that's going to be the right choice. But this girl that wants to be married out here. Oh, wait. Ooh, what do we have here? Hmm, I have a feeling somewhere that the berries from this plant are meant to taste a wee bit like pepper. I'm sure the other things could... Okay, this seem, doesn't seem like a bad option. <gasps> berries? Okay, so that actually seems like one of the best options so far so I like that and then giving the girl um, the flowers where is she though wasn't she right here maybe she's on the other side okay there she is all right I think we'll go with that we're gonna try this all right this way two people will be happy hopefully it's this guard that like I, I mean hopefully it's her that he likes well, are you really giving these to me, your majesty? I'm very flattered, but, well, I've never really gone for older men, and... Hold on a wee second, lassie. These aren't for me. I'm delivering them on behalf of a certain young admirer of yours. Is that so? Well, I must say they're very beautiful. Very beautiful indeed. I, this is a sign, all right. Where might I find this young man? Rab tells the woman where to find the lovesick guard, and she hurries off to talk to him. All right, let's see if we got it right. Your Majesty, thanks so much. The light of love has dawned in my life, and it's all thanks to you. To think you'd take the time to help a lowly soldier like yours, truly. Words can I express how grateful I am, but maybe this can. Ooh, a pretty Betsy? You are a real man of the people, Your Majesty. I'll never forget what you've done for me as long as I live. Aw, yay! I don't know how to thank you, Your Majesty, to think that my true love was right here all along. Imagine being, not being able to summon the nerve to give me the flowers himself. Bless, I've always found shy men so adorable. 
Okay, well that worked out very well. Excellent. And it looks like our uh, other choices are not here anymore. Oh wait, she's here still, okay. Oh, okay, now we don't even have the option. That was so funny. Oh right, we gotta get the pepper now. And then we'll take on the uh, other kingly duties. Yay, we did it. All right, it should be right over here. Can't believe we passed it before. We ran right by. Because this one says it tastes like pepper. Um, Actually, wait. Let me go back because I can't remember what the other one uh, said. I just want to make sure. The other one was like so close though. Okay, so this one's spicy. But they're... They like have a bad pong to them, so they like smell kind of strong. I'm gonna go for the one that was upstairs. That seems better to me. Because it's it's like pepper. I don't know if it's correct, but it just seemed like the best option. So we're gonna go for it. Alright, let's try this. Hmm, I struggle to believe that berries can taste much like pepper, but cooking in a for the faint-hearted, sometimes you have to just give things a go. I knew you wouldn't let us down, your majesty. Here's a little token of appreciation on behalf of all the kitchen staff. A seed of strength. The cooks in the castle kitchen use the berries Rab brought them to make a supremely spicy batch of neeps and tatties for the guards' dinner. Hopefully that means it was right. It doesn't, it doesn't look like there's anyone else in the castle in need of help, which means all I need to do is nip to the throne room and dispose. Uh, dispense a bit of wisdom, then I can go and see Erwin. Alright, Erwin. It's so nice for him to be able to be back home, but also so sad. I wonder how he survived um, the attack, by the way. I like how the chairs are equal. Like, the king's isn't way better than the queen's or anything like that. It's very nice. It, it shows a partnership, an equal partnership. <laughs> All right, let's uh, do the royal duties. Now, let us commence with today's itinerary. As you know, your role is to hear out those who come before you and use your wisdom to give counsel as the representative of the crown of Dundrasil. Majesty, let me first express to you my gratitude for granting me this audience. I've traveled all the way from the kingdom of Sniffelheim to seek it. Oh, I remember him! The matter I wish to bring before you today has been greatly exercising the ruler of my land. He very much desires to seek the counsel of the crown of Dundrasil, paragon of peace and prosperity. Go on. In rega uh, it regards a royal treasure that has been handed down from generation to generation of our royal line. It is known as the Blue Orb, and alas, it has vanished, presumed stolen. King Gustav has used every means at his disposal to try to identify the thief and recover this most precious heirloom, but to no avail. However, a list of likely culprits has been identified, four to be precise. Sadly, there is insufficient evidence to conclusively identify the thief, and so we find ourselves at an impasse. So you need to whittle down your list of suspects, but you've no clear means by which to do so? Alright, let's have a wee think. The first thing to identify the likely motive. What reason might a person have to want to get their mitts on the blue orb? For the money, for the excitement. Um, I don't know, honestly. Let's go with... I don't know if they'll be sold. I, I'll go with the excitement. The world's full of bad eggs who love nothing more than doing wrong for wrong's own sake. They get a sick thrill out of it, I. That's sure to be why they did it now. Next, we've to consider the matter of means. Yeah, can I just walk off in the street and help yourself to the pride of the royal treasure house? So, what kind of person could have done it? An expert lockpicker, a master of disguise. I'm gonna say master of disguise. Aye, that'll be it. The thief must have disguised himself as a guard or such like and strolled right in without anyone looking at him twice. Which leads me to conclude... That our culprit is a mischievous monster that can change its form at will! What you need to do is line up the suspects and sprinkle a wee bit of holy water on their heads. Your culprit will sing like a canary rather than put up with that. 
A marvelous display of deductive reasoning, your majesty. With your blessing, I shall return to Sniffleheim and inform King Gustav of your counsel. This is your final judgment of the matter, I take it? Oh, uh... Can we try it again? All right, let's see what... Let's see what, uh... What else we can do. All right. Uh, it's always best to be thorough with these things. Let's think through again from the start. All right, so now let's see what the other option is for the money. All right, now for the means. Oh, an expert lock picker. Okay. I know. I you couldn't I break into the kind of place they did something to that valuable unless you picked a lock or two in your time, which leads me to conclude that our culprit is a professional thief who did it for the money. So what I recommend doing is lining up the suspect them that it turns out the blue orb isn't worth a thing. Okay. They'll risk everything for a useless bauble. The thief's face will turn to thunder. I don't think that's it, though. Alright, so let's go with um, money and... Uh, and then the Master of Disguise. Let's see what that does. Our culprit is an experienced professional thief. Alright. Uh, that it's a fake and that whoever took it must be an amateur and a fool. Any innocent party will surely see the funny side, but one person certainly won't crack a smile. The one whose skills you've called into question. Hmm. And then we have for the excitement and the uh, lock picker. A nimble, f uh, nimble fingered thief who did it purely for the thrill. All right. Uh, tell them that stealing the orb was a piece of cake compared to what you're about to present them with. Then give them a really tricky puzzle and challenge them to complete it. The culprit won't be able to resist the challenge. They'll not rest until they've cracked it. No, I don't like that one either. The one where you sprinkle stuff on them. I'm, I'm gonna go with that one because it was my like first thought, and it seems the most like a uh, matter of fact, I guess. <laughs> So a monster. I mean, that sounds right. Cause what if it's like the, the dunder, uh, the the bad guy? I don't know. Let's see. Let's go with this. So many choices. The kingdom of Sniffleheim owes you a great debt, Your Majesty. I shall journey back there immediately and share your shrewd insights with the king. Let's see what happens. The envoy from Sniffleheim hurries home, looking very pleased indeed. All right, I must commend you on your wise counsel, Lord Robert. Your advice will doubtless lead to the unmasking of the rogue who stole the treasure. Now, shall we move on to the next matter? Sure. Very good, your majesty. Then, without further delay, let me present you with the next problem requiring your attention. Uh, is it you? The Sultan of Galopolis salutes the mighty kingdom of Dundersil and its people, and sends this a missive penned by his most exalted hand. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Your Majesty, I trust that this message finds you well. Word of the continued triumphs and glories of your kingdom reaches us on a daily basis. In truth, I write seeking your counsel for this very reason. As you may know, the Sultanate has suffered a prolonged heat wave. The land is parched, and we fear for this year's harvest. As ruler of a realm of plenty, I beseech you, share with us the secrets of your prosperity that we might avert disaster. I await your reply by return of rider, your humble servant, the Sultan of Galapolis. Message ends there. I do not wish to pressure you, Your Majesty, but His Excellency the Sultan was most desirous of a swift response. Oh, it sounds like they've got themselves in a pretty pickle over there, eh? Well, I'd better see what I can do to help them, hadn't I? Drought prevention advice, hmm? Can't say it's a problem we've ever faced over this way, if I'm honest. Well, let's start with the basics. If I'm to write a reply, I need to decide on the tone of the letter first. Unfallingly gracious, somewhat stern. Okay, we're gonna go with gracious. Ah, that's probably the best way to go, eh? Now to the tricky part, what to do in a drought. Let's weigh up the options. Offer conventional wisdom, think outside the box. Ooh, let's think outside the box. Right, that's it, I've got it. Quick, take this down before I forget it. My dear Sultan, I understand your kingdom is suffering a bout of searingly hot weather. No doubt, sales of ice cream and swimsuits are gone through the roof. Of course, I do not wish to make light of your predicament. I simply wish to show you that by changing the way you think about something, you can turn a crisis into an opportunity. What I suggest is that you inspire your people to think of radical new ways of cooling down. Leave it to their imaginations and see what they come up with. Hopefully, it will involve swimsuits and lots of them. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know about that one. That does seem like something Rab would say, but I don't know about this. We're gonna go, we're gonna look at some of the other options. 
All right, gracious and uh, conventional. Let's see what that is. My dear Sultan, I understand that your country is at risk of a terrible drought. Well, fear not, for help is at hand. We would be only too happy to open our storehouses and supply you with our surplus grain to make up for any shortfall you may suffer. Naturally, we would expect no compensation. For you are our brothers and sisters, and were we ever in the same position, we would expect no less in return. If we cannot come to one another's aid in times of strife, then truly we are lost. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, that's really nice. Uh, I think that's going to be the one I choose, but since we can see them all, I want to see the other ones too. Alright, let's see the stern option and uh, conventional. My dear Sultan, I understand that your kingdom is at risk of a severe drought. Put simply, this is a test from on high and any ruler worthy of the name must be able to rise to such a challenge. I do not wish to sound unduly harsh, but rather than asking the rulers of other kingdoms for help, you must look closer to home. You must believe in yourself and in your people. Lead them, inspire them, encourage them till the soil with all their hearts and new crops shall surely spring forth in time. But you must be strong. You must have a beacon in this time of need. I still like the other one best. All right, let's see what the last one is. Thinking outside of the box and stern. My dear Sultan, I understand that your kingdom is at risk of severe drought, but simply there are limits to what one can do in such a situation. Might I suggest that you take a leaf out of the book of the tribes of ancient times? I speak, of course, of the sacred ritual of the rain dance. Only the chief of the tribe, you, in other words, may perform it. Belly dance for the three days and three nights without rest or sustenance before the den of a dragon. Then and only then might you be saved. All right, uh, that's, that's not good either. He could get hurt. All right, we're going to go back to uh, the uh, other one, which I really liked. I love this part. This is the one that sold it for me. That we're brothers and sisters and we're in the same position. We would expect no less. Coming to others' aids in times of strife. Yeah, that's that's really good. That's the one. Get all that written up in your best fancy handwriting on one of those nice scrolls. All right. A marvelous miss of your majesty, if you don't mind me saying. Now, just to confirm, you're happy for me to write down that what you just said and send it off to the sultan. Yep. Excellent. We'll send it back to Galopolis with the rider right away. Now, shall we have them send in the next visitor? Yep. Very good, your majesty. Then without further delay, let me present you with the next problem that requires your attention. Oh my, hello there, everyone. As I'm sure you're aware, there are pugilistic tournaments held regularly in the town of Octagonia, where fighters from all four corners of the world compete to prove their worth. Naturally, there is a sh no shortage of young hopefuls keen to represent Dundrasil in the next grand event of this kind. To that end, I wish to present you with our kingdom's three final candidates. Who better than a fighting man like yourself, Lord Robert, to assess their potential? If it please your majesty, you could step forward and pick the one you think might be champion in the making. Okay, so we got this guy, a bear, and this guy. I'm thinking this one. A typically discerning choice, your majesty. This fellow is blessed with that rarest of fighting talents, luck. He's made it through all of his qualifying bouts with conceding, without conceding a round. I'm afraid I'm not exactly brimming with confidence, your majesty, but if you pick me, I'll cross my fingers really, really hard and hope for the best. So come on, what, what, do, you dis what do you say? All right, let's say no for now. Oh, I don't blame you, to be honest. I mean, who picks a 97-pound weakling to represent their kingdom? Oh, well, I guess my luck finally ran out. All right, let's try the bear. An interesting choice indeed, your majesty. This one's a real wild one without a shred of decency or compassion for his fellow fighter. An animal who will stop at nothing to achieve victory. Grr, I can't bear some of the things people say about me, you know? I'm not that bad, honestly, so are you going to choose me or what? Uh, no. Ugh. Oh, well, I suppose I'll just have to grin and bear it. This meant to be a tournament for humans after all, though. Welcome to it. All right, and then what do we got here? A fine choice. Uh, let's see. Um, your pick is brimming with brute strength and can shred steel with his bare hands. You're picking me, are you? Hey, that's pure, uh, pure dead brilliant, that is. You won't regret it. My opponents will, though. <laughs> so we're good to go, eh? Uh, make up your mind, will ya? You got me all worked up there. Well, you regret not picking me, I'll tell you that for nothing. Uh, kind of like the underdog situation, but... He kind of reminds me of Vince a little bit, so... I don't know. I don't know. We're just gonna go with this guy because he's like the the unusual choice. So let's see what that what happens. <laughs> and he made it through without conceding around ever. So 
I'm gonna just go with this one. <laughs> Woohoo! Seems my luck hasn't run out yet. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity, Your Majesty. I'm going to cross my fingers and pray myself silly from now till the end of the tournament. <laughs> Fine work, Your Majesty. So may I confirm that you wish to put forward this fortunate candidate to represent the kingdom? Sure. Marvelous. Let us hope that fickle fortune will favor us on the day of the tournament. I wonder if we get to, like, find out about all our choices. I'm happy to report that this concludes all your royal duties for today. Those here in the throne room, at least. It seems you have discharged your royal duties with aplomb, your majesty. King Erwin will be pleased. Might I suggest that you go and inform him that your work is done? And may I also say that it has been an absolute pleasure to witness your fine regal-minded work today. It was just like old times. Aww. Oh, we got our nice music back. All right, well, I think that's it. I think it's time to go talk to uh, the king. And I really want to see my daughter. Oh. I want to see the baby. I really do hope I didn't miss anything by not going in there earlier. Like, what if I could have seen her before going into labor? Oh. Too late now, though. I was too busy exploring. All right, here's the lovely fountain and our king. Ah, oh, Lord Robert, your timing is almost uncanny. I've just the second managed to come up with the perfect name for the new baby at last. Without you, I wouldn't have had the time to properly mull it over. You've no idea how much a help you've been. Since we both finished with our business for the day, why don't we head back to the throne room and wait for the good news? All right, sounds good. Your Majesty, Lord Robert, the new arrival is here. <gasps> He's here. Already? Oh, come on. Let's go see them. Congratulations, Your Majesty. It's a beautiful, bouncing baby boy. Aww. A boy. <gasps> there they are. Aww, there he Welcome. is. Little sweetheart. Oh, he's a funny <laughs> And what a set of lungs. We'd better this hurry is up precious. and before he screams the place down. Hi. Aww. We were wondering what you thought about uh, Erdrick. Ah, oh, beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. It sounds clever and brave and yes. <laughs> but I've rather set my heart on something else. <laughs> and this is probably the name I picked, a bell aim. What do you think of this for me? Oh, look how happy he is. Oh, uh, well, it, it, it's nice, but it <laughs> he doesn't have like been it. My first choice. But if that's the name you've chosen, my love, <laughs> that's the name he shall have. Aww. Sweet. Mighty Yggdrasil has blessed us with this beautiful boy. Oh, look how cute he is. He's so happy. He's smiling. And from this day forth, he shall be known as... Oh, nice. Bell aim. <laughs> nice sneeze there because of the pepper. Wow, that all works out. Oh, father. <laughs> Kiko approves. <laughs> Kiko, my dog barking. All right. <clears throat> Sorry about that, love. Never mind that. Why don't you give your grandson a cuddle? Oh, This is so sweet. Look how cute he is. And he's got the little mark already. Yep. Oh, the baby noises. He's so happy. I'm your grandpa. Yes, I am. Yes, Aww. I am. Oh, Brab. Oh, what a special memory. Oh. Makes me want to cry. Oh no. Oh, that's so sad. <gasps> oh no. Oh. I'm what, gonna cry, aren't I? What the? Having fun? Oh, this lady is starting uh, to get on my nerves. How are you doing this? These places, these memories, they feel so real. <laughs> I <sighs> guess we gotta follow her. Oh, and it's silent again. That's a little scary. Oh my goodness. 
Is everything about to go bad? Ooh, a diamond. Oh my gosh, I love the spelling. Well, I think uh, we've looked around enough. No book. Oh, wait, there is a book. Yes. That's so great. There's a book called The Book of Erdwin. Rab takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. Oh, by the way, Erdrick, I love um, the name there. And also, it's like an anagram. Like, if you mix it up, it spells Derek. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. All right, anyway, chapter one, Song of Beginnings. World Tree's gift, first of many, bold, bright, blessed luminary. They, thy light doth a shadow cast. Lo, the dark one, bleak, black, vast. Chapter two, Song of Prayer. World Tree's foot, a plea, a prayer, ringeth through the mountain air. Babe is born, trees will revealed. Serenica, luminary shield. Oh, wow. The book is filled with many more such important sounding poems. Rob carefully closes it. Wow. Ugh, this is going to be heartbreaking. Uh-oh. Oh, that was just the door closing. That was, uh, freaky. Oh! Hmm, why is it so quiet? Oh my goodness. I'm scared. I'm going over to my room. This is so freaky. Oh! Wait, what did it say? Something tells me I should follow the lassie and the bunny. Oh, I didn't see her. She must have gone this way, though. Yeah, there she is. Okay. Here we go. Oh, man. <gasps> oh, the door is closing. Keep freaking me out. Uh-oh. All right. It's a game of chase, apparently. All right. Are we going in there, finally? Oh, no, we're not. We're just going around in a square. And she ran down here. Okay. Oh, where'd everybody go? They cannot have left without telling me, can they? Oh. Oh my gosh, I'm so worried. Oh, what's this? What's all this then? Is it a surprise birthday party for him or something? What is this? He should have remembered it though. <laughs> <gasps> oh, there he is. Happy Wait. Birthday, Grandpa. Wait a second. Is this an alternate re reality where he was able to stay here and Dundrasil actually survived? Because at this age, he was in cobblestone. Oh. Get away. It's, it's you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. Is this what would have been? What could have been? <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, everybody's there. Surprise. You didn't suspect a thing, did you? We all oh. Extra hard to keep it a secret. Oh my gosh. They're all here Happy getting birthday, to be a family. We've had Gondolia's finest patissiers working day and night on your cake here. Oh. I trust it will be to your taste. Many happy returns, Father. May you live oh, a long no. and joyful life, watching your grandson grow into a fine young man. Oh my gosh, this is devastating. Oh, you, you oh. shouldn't have. This is so sweet. Congratulations, the people of Dundrasil are eternally grateful for all you've done to make this such a happy and peaceful place to live. Ugh, oh, they're just rubbing it in, jeez. Hear, hear! And we'll do everything we can to keep it happy and peaceful under King Erwin too. Ugh, oh, this is such a dream. Such a dream. Ugh, oh, that's my boys. Aye, and a great big happy birthday to you from all the lads and lassies in the tavern, eh? <laughs> Don't forget to send word when you've a new addition or two to the royal collection. Oh, <coughs> oh my gosh. Gentlemen's periodicals, will you, big man? Still with the magazines. <sighs> my people. Oh, how I love them. Oh, no. <laughs> 
You're not crying, are you, Grandpa? I am. <laughs> Mar. No, laddie. Everything's perfect. Just oh, Rab. Such a sweet guy. I'm still crying. <laughs> He's just enjoying. Oh, I don't know if I can talk right now. <laughs> oh my goodness, everybody's so happy. It's sweet. Happy birthday. Ah, Pex. Just give me a minute and then I'll read it. <laughs> And there's that lady again. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoa. Uh, and he's on one finger? Whoa. Okay, we'll be talking to him in just a second. <laughs> oh, I wonder if our questions um, affected this, by the way. Ta-da. I don't really see anyone from Octagonia, but maybe that was the guy on his finger. Alright, now I think I've settled down a little bit. <laughs> Who is this? Is that his brother? Okay, alright, we gotta figure all this out. Okay. Here, wait, what is... what? Why are you on the ground? Oh, what's going on? I've only had a wee drop to wet me whistle and now I'm staggered around the place. I thought I was made of sterner stuff than this. Sick. All right, well, yeah, he's just blocking us. Okay, me and my mates are the finest fighters in Octagonia, and we came to wish you a very happy birthday, your royalness. Oh, and if I'm wondering, ooh, let the likes of us crash your party. It was that lucky lad you set off to represent Dundrasil in the tournament all them years ago. We're still talking about him, believe me. Aww. Is it him? I wonder if that's him. Oh, that's cool. All right. I hope you don't mind, but I wanted to meet the man who picked the fighter who represented Dundersil all those years ago. The guy's a good friend of mine now, you see? Some fighters are just born lucky, and he's one of them. I'm amazed you managed to see that in him, because he's not exactly impressive to look at. You got a rare eye for folks' inner strengths, you know what? Aww. That's really awesome. Alright, let's uh, talk to the others that were able to talk. Serving you is the single greatest honor of my life, Lord Robert. Aww. Why is he talking in the past tense? Aye, Dundersil's future is assured. I mean, with Lord Robert, King Erwin, and young Belaim, how can we go wrong? You're truly an inspiration to all of us guards. This is just too, too drastically different from what happened. You'll never guess whose idea it was to make a cake this big. None other than your pride and joy, wee Belaim. Aww. It's an honor to meet you, Lord Robert. All Galapatolians... I hope that's it. Know you as the man who offered us your kingdom's surplus grain without asking for any payment in return. It would be no exaggeration to say that you are the reason we are all alive and well and can be here today. There are no words to express our gratitude, only circus stunts. Oh, look at that. We started the circus. Oh, that's so nice. The heartiest of happy birthdays to you, old friend. Dundrasil has always been a friend to Galopolis. We owe you a great debt for the help you offered us when we were bested by drought, or beset by drought. Without your generous assistance, I fear our kingdom would not have survived. My people will never forget your kindness. Oh, that's so good. I'm glad it worked out. Lord Robert, I am your humble servant. If you had not so kindly donated your surplus grain, I shudder to think how many lives might have been lost to the drought. On behalf of all Galopolis, I thank you. Galopolis is a place where chivalry and honor are everything. We never forget those we are indebted to. That I promise you. You may rest assured that your name will live on in legend. Oh, maybe I... You know what? There's like a little gap right here. So I don't think I selected the right choice for picking out the... Um... The bad guy. Unless it's the this person over here. We'll have to see. Oh. The kitchen staff have been working round the clock to prepare all your favorites, your majesty. So please, eat, drink, and be merry. Aye, there's no doubt about it. This is the single greatest party I've ever been to in my puff. Now, if you didn't mind, I'm off to search for my wee dram. I wonder what that is, a dram. Lord Robert, you look like a man half your age. Maybe you could let me in on your secret one day. Alright, let's uh, see this one. Happy birthday, old friend. There shall be many more yet. Of that I have no doubt. <laughs> okay, so King Gustav. 
Oh, and thank you once again for your invaluable advice regarding that terrible blue orb business. We put your cunning plan into action and revealed that the culprit was a monster in disguise. And that is not all. We even discovered an intriguing new use for holy water. Truly, you did our kingdom a great service. I will not forget it. Oh, okay, so it did work out. All right, that's nice. Glad for that. You will never guess who has now taken into using holy water as a moisturizer. None other than King Gustav himself. Ever since Princess Frizabel told him that he looked old enough to be her grandfather, <laughs> he has some something of a complex about his wrinkles. Yeah. Maybe I have seen him before and I didn't recognize him. Lord Robert, it's an honor. No doubt you remember suggesting that we use holy water to reveal the culprit back when the blue orb was stolen. Well, that's not all that was revealed that day. In the course of sprinkling holy water on the suspects, we discovered that it has extraordinary moisturizing effects. Now everyone in Snuffleheim uses it to prevent chapped lips in winter. <laughs> Aww. Alright, I guess we should probably save. <sighs> May you be blessed with many more happy, healthy years, your highness. Now let us give praise for all we have. Okay. Well, now it is time to uh, talk to our family. Well-wishers have gathered from every corner of the land to celebrate your birthday with you. There could be no clearer display of the high esteem you are held in. Oh, my family. Come on, Grandpa, follow me. Oh. Okay. You're a real hit with the ladies, Grandpa. Oh, knock it off, will ya? You're one to talk, laddie. I bet girls will be flocking around you in a few years. Do you really think so, Grandpa? Gosh. Right, let's go over here next. Keep up, Grandpa. Wow, are they real circus perform performers, Grandpa? I've only ever read about them. Ah, is that right, laddie? Well, we'll need to take the trip to Galopolis and visit the Big Top. It's quite something, let me tell you. Yay, can we really go? Promise? Aye, that's a promise. Yay, now let's go this way. Grandpa, is it true that men over there was runner-up in fighting tournament in Octagonia without ever having to throw a punch? Oh, he's back. Wait. How did I not see him before? Aye, sometimes all you need is luck on your side. You never know how things are going to turn out. Life's never boring, that's for sure. So if you're going to go through a hard time, just remember that things can change. If you refuse to give up, your luck is bound to change. Got it. I'll never give up, no matter what. It's been lots of fun walking around with you, Grandpa, but I'm getting hungry. I know. How about a slice of cake? It was my idea to have the biggest birthday cake ever. Oh, no. I want to talk to the... Oops. Oh, well. I wanted to talk to the daughter too. Oh no. Your soul has not been destroyed. And Eleanor and Erwin are living here happily with their boy. Well, whatever this place is, whatever's going on, I know it can be a Yeah. Oh, but it's so, so precious. I could stay here forever. Oh, so sweet. Maybe that's the point, though. It's trying to... Oh, are you okay? <laughs> oh, my poor wee soldier's fallen down. <laughs> oh, there, there, wee man. There's no need for that. <laughs> What a sweet grandpa. Uh-oh. Oh my. Yikes. That's it. It's all coming back to me. We were defeated. Oh, he forgot that? And then the darkness came. When I woke, I was all alone. I prayed that my pals were still alive, but I knew I couldn't rely on that. So I set out to find a way of taking on the Lord of Shadows by myself. Oh. Yes. So, I sought out Grandmaster Pang. I was trying to convince her to train me, but... But that means... All this must be. Oh, this is uh, some kind of training, I guess. What's the matter, Grandpa? I'm sorry, laddie. I have somewhere I need to be. Things I need to be doing. Well, what? You mean, you're leaving? Aww. 
Oh, why did it to show this? Aye, that's right. I hate to go. Really, I do. But maybe one day you'll understand. He's so sweet. <laughs> you're a good boy now. Something tells me you'll do just fine. All right, let's see if we can talk to him. I hope you're having a wonderful birthday, you know. <laughs> Hold on. I hope you're having a wonderful birthday, you know. I'm still grateful to you for picking me all those years ago. Oh, I'm so upset. <laughs> I remember when I went to the tournament, I was scared out of my wits. All the other fighters looked so tough, I thought I didn't stand a chance. But would you believe it, just before the tournament started, there was a torrential downpour, and the whole thing was postponed. In the end, a lot of the toughest fighters caught colds and pulled out. I managed to win a bunch of my matches by default because my opponents didn't show up. What a result! In the end, I was runner-up and I never had to throw a punch. What a stroke of luck, eh? Let's talk to our daughter. Is something the matter, Father? You look like you have something on your mind. I'm sorry, Lenore, but I have to go. Look after Belaine. Oh, no. Of course I'll look after him. What a curious thing to say. Well, don't be gone too long. It is your party, after all. Oh, this is so sad. I can't stand it. Look at this sweet family. I think it's making me sad because it's like me and Derek and Kai. Ah! Okay. I am curious what it would have been like if we chose other things. Like, would they just not be here or would they be set up differently? I am kind of gonna, I think I'll look it up because I'm curious. Or maybe you guys can tell me in the comments. All right, now for probably the sad stuff. Well, I mean, it was already sad, but like, you know, the crushing news of like, yep, you, uh, you got distracted, but you came back to the task at hand. So here we go. What's the matter, Your Majesty? You aren't serious about seriously about to leave a party in full swing, aren't you? Boundless happiness awaits you here, you know. Joy, laughter, and all manner of wonderful surprises. Are you really willing to leave it behind? Yeah, because this is some kind of a test. I can give you what you want, Your Majesty. But can I ask why you want it? Because of more important things to be doing. Like, I guess this is just some kind of um, sorcery. Like, I don't know. There's a world I'm not exactly 100% sure. I'm dallying here in Dreamland. Lovely as it is. I should be toughening up. Not going soft in the head. I need to be with Grandmaster Pang learning how to defeat the Lord of Shadows. And I need you to take me to her right now. I wonder if that is her. After all the effort I went to, honestly, do you think yep. I like dressing up as a bunny-eared bimbo? <laughs> <gasps> it was her the whole time. Whoa, that is a cool design. I love that design. You can't be serious. It was you all along. Oh my gosh, she is so gorgeous and I love the outfit. Do we get to go to a new place? Oh no. And goodbye. Goodbye, wonderful perfection world. That's not real. <laughs> it was very sweet though. And I'm glad we got to see his home and revisit all those wonderful moments of his life. That was really special, but also heartbreaking. This is... This is probably where he was before. Alright. Yep. Crazy. Question mark. Here we are. Let's head on in. When bright brand bores through heaven's door, the sun shall rise over darkened skies and banish night with holy light. Okay. Sounds good, I guess. <laughs> I 
There she is. Welcome to the place where lost souls gather. The place between worlds. Oh, this must, I guess, well, I wonder if everyone ended up in this area. This is the void. The void. And you are courageous indeed to have ventured here. Not all of my students would dare. It's an honor to see you again, Grandmaster. Contentment is complacency. Happiness is inertia. You did well to refuse its temptations. Oh, but so, so, so difficult. So it was all a test then? Yep. Indeed, it was. But you were not deceived by my illusions. You were not seduced by the fantasy of an easy escape. It's a start. Yes! Pass with <laughs> lion colors! Oh, Rab. Hmm. You still have not learned to listen, I see. I said it was a start. There is work to do yet if you are to prove yourself truly worthy. You what? <laughs> you must show me that you have not been neglectful of your training. Wait. That you do have we have been to... Diligent in your daily oh practice. no, do we have to fight? And there's only one way to truly make sure of that. <laughs> oh, yep, looks like we gotta fight. <laughs> With the hand paddles? The naughty stick! <laughs> the naughty stick! Taken to two what of them in the sea. world? Oh, Crivens. I'll no get out of this without a bruise or two. Oh my. But, if that's what it takes, then so be it. Do your worst! Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> She's so funny. I love her. I still love her design. Okay. Swordsman dance. Oh, I didn't meet, see what it said. Something about dodge? Okay, let's see what we got. Um, attack that can deal uh, heavy damage to demons. I don't know if she is a demon, but we'll give her a try. Nope. That was pitiful. All right, let's try, uh, no, not that one, sap. Yes. Okay, we'll do that and then we'll do some attacks. All right, hopefully that's all right. Um, we should probably heal though. Uh, we'll do more heal. All right, and then we'll attack. Oh, geez. <laughs> we'll try Zam. Okay, that's way better than the other one. Uh-oh. Oh, he's enthralled. Uh, probably gotta heal ourselves again. Safety first. <laughs> this might take a while. Spellcaster stance. Okay. Now, maybe the other one that had, like, something about a, uh, spell? Resi oh, that's resistance. And... Uh, reflects all spells. Perfect. Oh, come on. Now she's back to swords dance, okay. Alright, uh, let's try the... We tried Zam last time. Um, well, that probably won't work. And we'll try the, this one. <laughs> No, not as good as the other one. All right, we're gonna go back to Zam. Yeah, that one looks the best so far. I think we can handle one more attack and then we'll heal up. Oh, geez. Uh oh, the effect wore off. Okay, uh. There we go. Stay in the game. All right, pepped up. Great. Excellent, excellent. Oh man, she still isn't even in the yellow or anything. We're gonna run out of uh, MP. <laughs> Spellcaster stance, okay. Let's put that thing back on. The uh, reflection, which is... 
go. Just to stay safe. <laughs> Enthralled again. At least when we do that, it does seem to put her back in the other stance. Uh, I think we're okay to do the attack again. I don't know if we're going to be able to beat her. Uh, I think we can do one more. Alright. And then more heal. Too bad we don't have something like Eric where it does damage over time. Oh, jeez. Alright. Okay, she at least is in the yellow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Back up? That's a cool backup, though. Gotta say. Alright, we probably should heal at this point. Um, 65 probably is a good amount for now. Oh, we didn't even need to be using more heal the whole time. Okay. Uh-oh, she's gonna use an almighty ability. Uh-oh. Alright, we gotta, we gotta take her out. Uh, we gotta take both of them, though. A group of enemies? Let's see if this does anything. Eh, not a lot, and it doesn't seem to affect him, the other thing at all. Let's go back to uh, Zam then. Come on, we gotta get her out of here. <laughs> oh, no. Uh oh. Oh, this definitely calls for a more heal. Just, oh, but we're running out of MP. That's it, though. That, I mean, if we wanna try and beat her, this is all we got. Okay, just assessing the situation. Okay, all right, that that seems okay. Do we have enough for Zam? We do have enough for a little bit more. Come on. Come on. We gotta hang in there. I think we might have some items to give us some more MP. Okay. Time to uh, use some items. What do we have? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We don't have- we were not prepared. We do not have stuff to, uh, <laughs> get us more stuff back. Okay, well, we do have the, uh, something where we could get MP. Where was that? Drain magic. Steals MP. Uh, do you think Grandmaster has any? I don't know. Let's try. Isn't affected. Uh oh. Dang it. I tried. I really tried. <sighs> A pitiful performance. Is that all you have to give? You're better off quitting, are you not? No. I'm not gonna quit. Huh. So you still have more to give? Well, when you're ready to do battle once again, I shall be waiting. Oh, okay. So you have to win. I was so close. Darn. All right, well, we're going to, this is a very long episode as is, so we will be leaving it off here and I will attempt again uh, when we come back next time. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me. Um, that was quite an episode. It was very sweet to see what could have been, you know, if things didn't go bad and see his family doing okay. Obviously it got me choked up, so yeah. <laughs> Thank you all again so much. Can't wait for the next episode and just... Thank you again for being here. I, I'm speechless. Like, I don't even know what to say. But thank you so much uh, as well. A special thank you to the patrons. Without you, I wouldn't be able to be making these videos. So thank you so, so very much. If you'd also like to help support the channel, you can head on over to patreon.com slash bellame. And for as little as $1 a month, you too can help and support making these videos. Um, yeah, I'm still kind of choked up. But thank you again. And can't wait to see you next time. And until then, take care.